All right, this is first grade module four, lesson 27. And in this lesson, students are gonna continue really just practicing more of what they did in lesson 26. They're gonna be adding a pair of two digit numbers. They're gonna use some non-standard algorithms, but the idea is it's because we want to develop number sense in our students as they get their answer, rather than just jumping straight to a rule that they're gonna follow, but not really understand why it works. So let's get started. So these directions say specifically for our students to use number bonds, uh, although they can use quick tens. So parents and teachers, you know, don't forget, even though we're moving on to new techniques, um, students are not, al not allowed, <laughs> they don't have to give up their old techniques. So if they have some old techniques that they'd like to use to verify their answers when they're using their new techniques, by all means let them do this. And this is a perfect reminder of that, that they can use the quick tens uh, in this case to help them if they want, or the arrow method, or the dimes and pennies method, you know, any technique, um, as long as they're, it's, at this point, we want to focus on number bonds, but use the other techniques as well. Uh, so, we're going to decompose. Let's see. And it doesn't tell us specifically how to decompose, if we're going to add the tens first or add the ones first. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to decompose that 15, and I'll add the tens first. So, 17 plus 10 gives us 27. And I'm going to take that 27 and I'm going to add in the 5 that's still sitting there. So 27 plus 5. Now in my head, I know that I've got 7. I need 3 more to make a 10. So I'm going to decompose 5 to be 3 and 2. I'm going to get 27 plus 3 is 30, plus 2 gives me 32. Keep in mind, parents and teachers, you know, Ultimately, we're not going to have students doing all this work. They're going to go to that standard algorithm. But the, the neat thing about this, this method, while it feels like it's a, long, a lot of work, it's actually the way that mathematicians often do their mental math. They add the larger magnitudes, the larger columns first, and then add the ones. So in this case, really, down the road, I think real mathematicians would likely add 10 plus 10, get 20. Then they'd add 7 and 5 and get 12, and then add your 20 plus your 12. Uh, but this is another technique that is really scaffolding how students are going to eventually be doing mental math. Another little practice. Let's decompose 16, uh, but this time let's, let's make the next 10. So I'm going to look at that 18, and I know that I need two more to get the next 10. So I'm going to decompose 16 to be 2 and 14. Now I'm going to add 18 and 2. That's going to give me 20. Uh, so actually, I'm going to write down 18 plus 2 gives me 20. Now I'm going to take that 20, and I'm going to add in the 14 that I have left over, and 20 plus 14 is 34. So there is our two answers. Using the number bonds, keeping in mind I can always use quick tens to verify that my answers are correct. So here the students are given even more freedom. They're just told solve. Uh, they are reminded you can use quick tens if you want, but uh, the idea is we want to start letting students choose the method that they want at this point for solving these problems. Ultimately, they are going to learn that standard algorithm, but at this point, let them use whatever number sense-based method makes the most sense to them. All right, so I'm going to do a couple of ex uh, two different techniques, one for each problem. Let's say, let's use the make the next 10 technique. So I'm going to look at that 18, and what do I need to make the next 10? Well, I need 2. So I'm going to decompose the 17 to be 2 plus 15. And the reason I did that is because now I can add 18 plus 2 to get 20. And now I can take that 20 
and add in the remaining 15 that's sitting out here. So 20 plus 15 gives me 35. So there's one technique. That's called the make the next 10 technique. Over here, let's do oh, let's do another decomposition one. Let's let's use number bonds, and um, <clears throat> oh, let's do the add ten method. So I'm going to decompose eighteen to be ten and eight, and now I'm going to add eighteen and ten. So that's where the add ten comes from. So I'm going to do eighteen plus ten. That gives me twenty eight. Now I'm going to take that 28 and I'm going to add in this last little 8 here that we left out. And now 28 plus 8. I have a choice. I can either count on with my fingers and get 36. Or, more sophisticated, I could say to myself, well I have 28, what do I need for my next 10? I need 2. So I'm going to decompose 8 to be 2 and 6. There's my right here makes my next 10, so that's 30, plus add in the remaining 6, and that's how I get my 36. And that wraps up a real simple lesson, just reviewing. It's um, Grade 1, Module 4, Lesson 27. We're just kind of reviewing how to add a pair of two-digit numbers using non-standard techniques.